Street. We also have some breaking news. Police in Carthage are investigating a shooting. Yeah, this one is on Vine Street. And that's where we catch up with our Cody Fisher, who has the very latest. Guys, just within the last 10 minutes, Cincinnati police confirmed that the shooting happened at this White Castle, which is at the corner of North Bend and Vine. I'm going to step out of the way because we want to show you uh, kind of some what exactly happened. So according to police, what you're looking at right now is the drive through window. And according to Cincinnati police, someone drove through the drive through and fired into the restaurant, hitting a manager in the neck. That manager was taken to the hospital, but they are expected to live. So again, this shooting, uh, somebody drove through, shot into the drive through, hit a manager in the neck. That person is expected to live. And right now, Cincinnati police are looking for a suspect uh, that they believe is connected to this shooting. But that's the information that we have right now. Again, this has happened at the corner of North Bend and Vine. We're going to stay on the scene. If we learn anything new in just the next couple of minutes, I'll let you know. Reporting live in Carthage, Cody Fisher. Fox 19 now. Well, Joe Burrow was getting cheers here at Paul Brown Stadium. I was speaking to a young fan that some people say is his doppelganger. We'll have that story coming right up. Guys, Joe Burrow has brought a lot of swag on and off the field here at Paul Brown Stadium this season, and it's inspired people to dress like him or act like him, but not a lot of people can say that they look like him. But that's what people are saying about six-year-old Tyler Timler. In the frozen tundra that is the Timler front yard in Hamilton, <laughs> young Tyler Timler is practicing his throwing motion, decked out in his number nine Joe Burrow jersey. Some people say Tyler looks just like him. Go Joe Burrow! That's Tyler the night the Bengals beat the Chiefs, dancing to Welcome to the Jungle with a fake cigar hanging from his mouth. How much fun has that been to be able to watch him win? Like, um, 5,000%. 5,000% fun? Yeah. Tyler's mom, Shauna, tells us the comparisons between Burrow and Tyler started around the time Burrow was drafted, with the comparison taking on a bigger meaning as the team and Burrow started to make their run. He wanted a, a Bengals jersey for his birthday, and he got one, and he wanted Burrow. He had to have Burrow, and... Then when he seen him with the glasses, he just thought he was the coolest thing ever. Tyler says it's cool to hear people say he looks like his idol. It's really, really fun because, um... I love him. Who let them go beat the Bengals? Nobody! The Timler family tells me the Bengals have been something that has brought their family together for decades. They're all enjoying this magical ride to the Super Bowl, but the ride is made a little extra special with Tyler's lookalike tossing the pigskin around. Joe Burrow will be everybody so, so then we can go to the Super Bowl and it's going to be really fun. Tyler tells me that he's going to start playing organized football for the first time next fall. And then as he puts it, what comes next is college football and then adult football, preferably for the Bengals right here in Cincinnati. Reporting live at Paul Brown Stadium, Cody Fisher, Fox 19 Now.